hello folks today I want to show you this is the pH 22 battery mod the big problem with this is that the button doesn't work well so it not makes really good contact the reason I figure out is that inside the parts of the button are not real well plated so two parts are this the pen contact pen here and there inside is just nickel or chrome plated and the contact disc inside here is just copper it's not plated so that not makes a well contact and makes the whole product just useless it's basically a very beautiful battery mod but just on this function it makes it unusable so what I did was inside is a plastic cap to crush that inside with this contact so normally you cannot remove this because it is pressed so what I'm going to do I'm going to drill two little holes one here and one there so be careful it should be next to the button not in the same line otherwise you destroy the button so one here one there I'll make here two little holes and make a screw thread from M3 then I put on each side a little bolt inside and with this I'm gonna wick the plastic out so later I can reuse that again once I have done that I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna plate all the contacts with gold plating in a part so that's the next step so first we're gonna drill the holes and bring the parts out once we put this screw thread inside, put two little screws and three inside and just wake it out between with some kind of tool. So wake it and you see the whole part is coming out. So in the middle of the contact point and if you can see the contact is just chrome plated. And here in the middle, inside, you can see the little part, this one. There's just a little disc. Ah, this one, they make a nickel plated, a chrome plated. But the, the one before was not plated. So here they make a plating. But uh, however, this not make good contact so I'm gonna make a gold plating and that makes uh, absolutely the best contact you can have 24k gold plating so bring all these parts out <coughs> now we're first gonna clean it with ultrasound for five minutes so that parts get uh... now I add the little parts in the RVS steel cup with vinegar and salt put the parts on the plus and the RVS cup on the minus and the power 6 6 volt DC and you see that it reverse so the comb is getting off on the parts and that's what we need because you want to get gold on it and gold plating is not fits not so strong on chrome but better on copper cleaning with the vinegar and salt you see the parts are nice nice copper clean so after cleaning this with the vinegar and salt we added the remaining parts 
with the distillated water and uh, keep it for five minutes in ultra sun cleaning. After that, we're gonna add it to the gold parts. That will be the next step. So now we hang it in the gold parts for gold plating. And because these parts are so small, we keep a voltage of 1.4 volt DC. And that we keep for about at least an hour inside to get a nice thickness layer of core plating on the parts. So after this is finished we will return back. After one hour and about 20 minutes it is enough core plating on the parts so I'm gonna bring it now out of the part and switch off the power. Now bring it out of the bath and drop it in the ultra zone cleaner or yeah you also can spoil it off with just normal water that's also okay and then we're gonna assemble the parts back in the in the uh, battery mod so that will be the next step assemble the button parts back so I put the button with the spring first inside I seal it with tape, otherwise it flips out. And now is coming the tricky part. Brush the button back. So now it's in. Can put tape off. The button is now fixated. Now I'm going to press this long pin back and that we're going to do on the machine. Just press it carefully until it's on. Done. Well, it's getting already easy by hand. Now we push these two holes the same direction as it was before. First we check whether there is already a contact here. That's good. So now we put the same way back as it was before. And also here we do that pushing carefully. Now 
we check the contact. It works. Now we're going to check it on there. It works like a charm. Cold plated contacts. Now I have a good pH 22.